after the determination uh, of your niche and research about it, uh, you have the second step, which is uh, the creation of your uh, Pinterest uh, account. Uh, and uh, afterwards, step three is to create your board um, uh, on your account and to fill them out with uh, interesting uh, pins. Now, you can imagine that you prefer to not uh, to see, let's say, ugly houses such as this one, for instance, or that one. Uh, you don't like to see houses as such. Uh, you would uh, you would prefer to see beautiful houses, which uh, something like this or something like that. So you can imagine that uh, people are willing to follow you because that's the, uh, the purpose of the creation of your Pinterest profile, they will, that they follow you. Uh, you, of course, would like to fill out your boards with beautiful and desirable pins. Now, how do you find it? Well, first thing, and I will show it immediately to you, suppose I'm entering my niche, which is Pinterest for beginners. And I will look at the boards. Sorry, uh, I made a mistake not looking at the boards, but the pins dealing with Pinterest for beginners. Uh, I don't know. I already see here the amount of, uh, uh, let's say, saves. Uh, repins, likes, comments, and so on. So I would like to have an ordering of uh, the pins uh, dealing into account uh, the, the account of saves. Therefore, you have uh, um, a Chrome extension. I will show it to you how it's called and how you can install it. And you could say, for instance, I would like to have five pages uh, looked up by this extension and ordered the pins in uh, descending uh, order, uh, taking into account the amount of saves. So I just click the start. I wait uh, just for uh, five pages. It doesn't uh, take that long. Uh, it uh, just needs a little bit of patience. And afterwards, you will see that uh, this extension uh, will have ordered all the pins according to, in this case, the amount of saves. So I think one, two, three, we will have them. Voila. And there you have uh, the amount of uh, saves, 12,118, 9,700, and it goes down and down. Um, and what you could do, of course, is that you say, okay, I will take the first ones and I will uh, add it to my um, board. So you click right side, open link, new tab, you take the other one, uh, let's say this one, and afterwards, of course, you go to those pins. Uh, the connection apparently is a little bit slow, nevertheless. Okay, you save them, and you save it to your board which is, in my case, Pinterest for beginners. So I take this one, I say save uh, Pinterest for beginners, save. Um, this board has sections. Huh? Um, anyway, it's already added. Uh, I think uh, the message is clear. Uh, now, how do you uh, obtain this order? 
by means of an extension. So you go to Google, you enter extension scroll, uh, you click on the first link, and this is the Chrome Web Store. And there you can enter whatever you like to enter uh, dealing with whatever topic. So the one that I use for uh, the ordering of the pins is called Open Print Pro. So if you click on the title of an extension, you will see the amount of users uh, you could look at uh, as well. Uh, you have an idea about senses and the quality of, about it. Uh, you can read it if uh, you wish to, and you just click on the link uh, to add it to your Chrome, which I already have done because the color is green and otherwise it uh, would or should be blue. And uh, it will be uh, uh, added to my uh, Chrome extension bar. So that's the thing that I use to, um, let's say, to add uh, interesting pins to my boards. And as you see, uh, I'm already busy for one week and a half. Uh, and by means of this, I already have uh, 740 followers just in uh, 10 days. Um, and that's the methodology that I use. So. I highly recommend to install this extension and to use it to fill out your boards with qualitative uh, pins. Have a nice day.